This is Marjorie Wildcraft hanging out with Dr. Patrick Jones, who is a veterinarian, an herbalist, and a naturopath. And uh, I'm really delighted to get to hang out with Patrick because he's um, he's just such a font of wisdom on 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 healing things, you know. And uh, he's so much fun. And I'm I'm here at his uh, at his clinic in his house, and we're actually right here. We're filming in his garden. And uh, what's astonishing is everything that that's growing around us is the medicines that he uses in his clinic yeah. they're pretty amazing so um you know really like when was the last time you went to a doctor that grew his own medicine right? <laughs> and he went out into the yard and came back with a bucket full of weeds right? <laughs> really doc yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i got something for that <laughs> but patrick a lot of people are asking and they're like you know vitamin c is 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 uh, almost this 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 cure-all for a lot of things oh, yeah. and and it really is it's you it know really I've, I've definitely knocked a lot of things out with with vitamin C and especially proactively in the like the holidays and stuff do you have any favorite herbs or favorite plants to grow that are that you feel are, are really good for for boosting people especially in that in that direction yeah so you know probably the most common one the one I use most of all in formulas and is and and something just as a as a veterinarian a little mm -hmm. tidbit for you is that um, primates Okay. And guinea pigs are the only mammals that don't make their own vitamin C. Really? So you don't need to give vitamin C to your dog because he's making it himself. That's you good know. to know. Oh, yeah. Or your cat. Or your cat. Your cat's not a primate, uh, although I wonder. You should sometimes. give it to your guinea pig or your orangutan or your son-in-law. You know, because oh. they they are all they they need it. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> of course some of those son-in-laws are orangutans, you know, and that's yeah, that's all different. Of, they that's a different conversation, but. That is. <laughs> I've got nine daughters. <laughs> Seems but anyway, to have the voice of experience right here. <laughs> no, they were, uh, they all married well. We're good. But uh, yeah, so vitamin C, um, rose hips are a great, a great source. Nice. Uh, and yeah. they're easy to access. And, you know, they, they do grow pretty much, but you don't eat the seeds. You no. Just eat yeah. So the rose hip, uh, after the flower, mm -hmm. it makes the little fruit, you know, the, the base of the flower swells and it makes the fruit, which is the hip. And after the first frost is when you harvest those, and uh, they're red and sort of like a, you know, fruit leathery kind of consistency. Mm -hmm. You slice them open, and they have little seeds in them and little hairs, which is the real problem because the hairs can be irritating. Okay. But if you scrape those out, you can eat them just like fruit leather, mm -hmm. or you can dry them. And and uh, you know, when we do them, we just take the whole rose hip and dry them and and grind them in a. You know, we've got big Vitamix blenders that we do all our grinding in. And then you don't have to worry about seeds or hairs, and that doesn't matter. It all just gets uh, all powdered. mixed up together. Uh, but uh, that's a very good source of vitamin C. Pine needles are a good source of vitamin C. How, how much for like a ro well, like one rose hip you feel that would be a good dose? Is that the classic, um, you know, we're going to do a teaspoon or something? Well, you know, vitamin C is is not something you can really overdose. I mean, you can take a lot of vitamin C and it's all better. That's, you know? that's true. Uh, yeah. And you know, Linus Pauling did a lot of writing on that, uh, but uh, they should have given him his Nobel prize for the vitamin C stuff and not the physics stuff. Although the physics stuff was great. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, after after that, he did a lot of vitamin C work. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I would take, you know, a couple of rounded spoonfuls of that for to get a lot of vitamin C. You know, why, why cheat yourself? <laughs> um, but the other cool thing about it is it's available when a lot of other things aren't. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, anything, a lot of green plants have a lot of vitamin C in them, and that's great. Oh, go back to pine needles, because there's, that, needles, there's yeah. that great there's that great story of the homesteader who died of scurvy, and they buried him under the pine tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Right? There you yeah, go. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, pine needles are a tremendous source of vitamin Just C. Just chew the raw ones. Yeah, or make a little tea, and you don't want to, you know, vitamin C is not super heat stable, so you don't want to make a hot tea, but, you know, and I don't ever make, I don't ever boil herbs anyway. I, I bring the water to a boil, turn it off, get it off the heat, and then throw the herbs in. You know, that's how I always do it. But, uh, um, you know. I wish I did that. <laughs> I have to confess. I'm like, I'm trying to get it all. I like put it in there and then I get on the computer. And yeah. it's, it's boiling, it's frothing over. And I'm like, oh gosh, sure, I wish yeah. I hadn't done that. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm well, gonna, well, maybe uh, when I become a real herbalist. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, you the got pun, the shirt, you're okay. Oh, yeah, no, I got, I got the street team t-shirt. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm moving that. But we, so, so just chew on some pine needles. Yeah, or and, make a tea or whatever, yeah. powder them and grind them up or whatever. But you know, if you were in a cabin in the mountains in the winter, like the old guy you're talking about, mm -hmm and your teeth start falling out because you got scurvy, you got an enormously uh, potent source of vitamin C. There's more vitamin C in pine needles than there is in citrus. 
you know, pound for pound, it's a good source of vitamin C. And it's available all winter. Yeah. You know, and the rose hips are available all winter. So it's, they're important sources from that standpoint too. All right. But, you know, herbs in general are, you know, one of the real problems that we have in, in the modern world is, is malnutrition. And our bellies are full, but we're not getting any food, yeah. you know, no mm -hmm. nutrients. Yeah. And, you know, these big farms and, you know, I got, you know, God bless the farmers. You got to love them. And they're just, they're just doing what we're paying to do them, paying them to do, you know, but, uh, I, I was watching a, a movie about something or other, and at the end of the show, the guy says, well, grow whatever you want, you know? <laughs> if you want cheap high fructose corn syrup, guess what? That's what we're well, gonna that's grow. That's what we're getting for you. <laughs> yeah, we'll right. grow your Brussels sprouts if you pay for them, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but, you that's know, true. they're You're only right putting dollar. Yeah. three minerals on that dirt. Yes. And they're farming that dirt for 100 years, and three minerals go on, and that's it. And uh, you gotta kind of start to wonder if stuff isn't getting depleted, there's no, you know, in nature, if you go out into the woods, everything dies and falls off and goes back into the dirt. And you have that natural compost, that natural recycling of minerals and nutrients. Uh, and the herbs are getting that. So sometimes uh, I think that, especially the deep rooted stuff, you know, the comfrey, the burdock, the yellow dock, you know, red clover, those guys, alfalfa, you know, uh, are tremendous sources of micronutrients that are really hard for us to find. And uh, I think that I think it's really important to get that stuff into our diet, you know. Yeah, well, I can't for, agree you know, with you more. Forget the medicine. Let's I, get the minerals. You it's, know, it's kind of what the Grow Network is all about. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I malnutrition know. is the elephant in the room. I mean, people would not think that Americans are more malnourished than you know, Rwandans or whatever. I don't yeah. know. You know, some some country that's not that's known for that, but yeah, right. we are. I mean, we. We are. We're eating. Yep. We got full bellies. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're starving to yeah. death with full bellies. Yeah. So. so we got your two favorite sources: pine needles and um, rose hips. I love it. And I think so. Super yeah. simple. Gosh, I mean, I can yeah. chew on a pine pine needle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks so much, Doc Jones. And uh, this is Marjorie Wildcraft, Dr. Patrick Jones, and we'll catch you on another show. The Grow Network is a movement of people who are stopping the destruction of the earth via homegrown food. Learn to make your own medicine with plants you find in your yard. Get started at www.makeyourownmedicine.com.